And we made a sale of something that I posted and it sold within an hour. I'm not even quite sure. I have to look back. It may have been within 20 minutes. <music> have a little gift that got sent to us and a little gift that got sent to Reagan and Turner. It's a couple of little thank you notes, a couple of little cards, and that looks like Yellowstone. And this is from Turner. you got to turn it sideways. Let's turn it sideways. Nope, that's upside down. <laughs> there you go. And these are from Yellowstone. Have you guys ever been to Yellowstone? No. Nope. Daddy's been to Yellowstone. I've been there. I went there when I was in college. And I drove from Oregon all the way to Virginia. And we never stayed in a hotel. We just camped out the whole way. And we stayed in Yellowstone one night. And it was really, really neat. I would love to take y'all there someday. So this is from Whistling Joe. I think it's Whistler Joe. And the kids. And do you remember the name on the back of that card, Dragon? Benny. Benny, and what about yours, Turner? Do you remember yours? Um, is it Aiden? Aiden and Parker. Aiden and Parker. Is it Parker? I hope that's right. And they sent them a sweet gift. So thank y'all so much. And I don't often give out our P.O. box, but it is down there in the description at the very, very bottom. I hate asking people for stuff. So, But if you want to send something, that's just really nice of y'all, and we appreciate it. Speaking of, I've got one more thing. I mean, this is from Ron at R&K Treasure Center, and this was so nice of Ron. Ron has been a great supporter of the show and has his own program over there at R&K Treasure Center. Matter of fact, he did a great video on shipping that I'm going to reference when I do my video on shipping. Look at that. We all think of that right there. All right, so this thing is pretty cool. That's a metal sign. And Turner, what's that symbol right there? Commonwealth Pickle. <laughs> it's the Commonwealth Picker symbol. You know, that's just a symbol for the state of Virginia, but you know what? Whatever works. So that is going to go in our... Looks like Commonwealth Cabin is winning so far. Commonwealth Cabin. And that is awesome. That's going to be one of the very first things we put on the wall. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin, and we are in the cave tonight. And we are getting some things ready to ship out. And we had another great Q4 day. And we're really happy about that. For those of you who are new to the show, I'm a part-time picker and I'm a full-time teacher. So $200 a day is what we shoot for in gross sales. So, you know, it depends on, on, on what's selling. But let's just say 40 to 60% of that is profit from day to day. So that's what we shoot for to kind of make ends meet around here. But in Q4, it's oftentimes over $200, and we've been on a roll. So $463.74. And one sale to the Homeschool Hustler store, and we made a sale of something that I posted, and it sold within an hour. I'm not even quite sure. I have to look back. It may have been within 20 minutes. And it's something that I bought from the coin boy at school who oftentimes brings me things that he finds and I give him a little bit of profit off of what he bought it for and then I make a little bit of profit and we made a little bit more than a little this time and so coin boy if you're out there I'm gonna buy you lunch one day hey coin boy here's brought us another little item that we're gonna flip so what do you think of that what, what year is this 1994 1994 the box is in good shape doesn't have the backdrop on it and so these are selling, what do you say they're selling for? For like 50 to 60 bucks right now. Okay. And so it's got a little bit of problem with the box because it has no backdrop, but it's the perfect time to sell it. So we're going to make a deal on it. And I'm probably going to list it for around 50 bucks is my guess. But I'll do a little bit more research on it. A little Mickey tree chopper. Hey, have a good Thanksgiving. You as well. At any rate, we've had great sales, like I said. And we're going to tell you what's sold, and we're going to show you every item that sold today. So let's go take a look. First one here is three orders going to the same buyer. They said, hey, if I buy multiple things, will you give me a shipping discount? And I said, you know what? Some of these are free shipping items anyway. So I said, just send me a message on each item, and I'll cut off a couple bucks on each one, and that'll save you a little bit of money and save me the hassle of going in and giving you the refund. That can be a pain sometimes. This was a coin given away at a Liberty football game, and the program from the game, also a lanyard, put it together in a little lot. And I got tons of these. I've got a few connections that get me a few things, and sometimes I'm there and get some stadium giveaways as well. 
And so this actually sold really, really good right after the game. It's gone down. I only got $10 for this. I was getting a bunch of money for these coins at the beginning. So here's a little bit of information out there for you. If you ever do some things where you get stadium giveaways, I know it's strange, but if you list on your phone, take a picture of the item right there when you get it and list it on eBay. Be the first one to list it. And you can set the market for it, and you can usually get your price. Bobbleheads, if you're at minor league stadiums, football, whatever it is. And you can get that money. The first people out there get the most money. And the market goes down after time. So I know it's not exactly like that all the time. You might think, well, I'll wait for these and whatever. Uh-uh. If it's a stadium giveaway, put it up on eBay immediately, and you'll get your money for it. I think I was getting, I might have got like, $25 a pop on these little giveaway coins. It was when the, it was their first game they ever played at Division One level, Division One FBS. They sold really, really well. And over time, there's just a little bit of a market for them. So once everybody gets them that wants them, there's not much of a market. So we didn't get much at all for this one, but it was a discounted deal anyways. I think I was asking like 14 or something like that. I can't remember. And so we'll put this with the other two items and I'm going to show it to you. And we're going to make a nice profit on all three together. Got one of these little hats as well. Usually I sell these for like $15.71. I think I gave them a little bit of a discount off of that. And these sell really well. And then this kind of moisture wicking flames club shirt. So all of those combined were probably going to be over 16 ounces, unfortunately. But you know, all that will probably fit in a flat rate envelope. And it'll be pretty easy to ship. So... I like selling multiples to the same people, giving them a little discount. They getting a deal, I'm getting a deal, and I'm shipping one item out and saving my time. All right, this is Joe Rocket, and it is a motorcycle jacket. It's kind of a two-piece deal. This came from the happy little accident, and it didn't sell for as much as I wanted it. I think I had it initially out there at like 65 or something like that, and it ended up selling. I reduced it down to $55, so... $55. It's pure profit at this point. We're going to add it to the Happy Little Accident Haul and show you what we're up to. If you watched yesterday's video, or I guess it's two days ago now, if you watch that video, then you'll see that we have made over $2,000 so far back on our $200 investment. This is going to go on top of that. All right, so that puts us at a total, a running total of $2,050. The initial goal was $2,500. Still not sure we're going to get there, but we get closer and closer every single day. I think we probably will get there, but it'll be in the spring when we start to get Easter ornament sales and the 4th of July and the summer ornament sales. And so there's some spring stuff, St. Patrick's Day, Old World Christmas ornaments in there too. So we might get to 2500 like I initially thought. It's just it might take so long that we're going to forget about keeping this, keeping track of this thing. All right, here's a bit of a bolo for you, and you might be like, Ralph Lauren Polo, that's a bolo. Sorry for the rhyme there. Uh, big ponies, most of you know that, big ponies go better, but this is like a tie-dyed polo with a big pony. And so this one went, it's a size XL, which is a great size. You'll notice here it has the tag, so that's the big seller on this. But it went for $40, and it was a buy that we had at Goodwill. So I'm really happy about the Goodwill buys that you can make this much money on. They're few and far between these days, but you can still make money out there thrifting. I haven't thrifted much lately because I've had so much inventory that I gotta get through. And I even told Blue Ridge Mama, and she loves to thrift. We'll get some thrift videos. Maybe we'll put that on Commonwealth Flipper when she goes out and does her thrifting. So this is a great sale. Look for the tie-dye type polos. Even used, these will go for like 25 bucks. And the big ponies are also for fairly good sellers. Pima cotton. This is not Pima cotton, but sometimes if you look and you find the Pima cotton, those will sell as well. So nice little profit on a $3.99 purchase at Goodwill. So I told the story of how I got these, and I got these a box of 500 for five bucks from the Goodwill, and I bought two boxes, and I said, I'm going to make a killing on these things, thousands of dollars, but it might take me till I'm gray, you know, gray beard and until I'm retired. And I sold one the other day, and then a few viewers said, oh my goodness, I like that. I remember Dr. Demento, and they came on and bought some. So Mark, this is going out to you, and it's really cheap. Right now, I think I had it on sale for $3.99 plus shipping. You know, I'm into these literally for a penny a piece. So I paid nothing, and I have tons of them. I've sold about 100 over the years. It says I have five available. I better change that listing. 
And Mark, here's what you said. It says, Kevin, thanks for the show. Loving it. And so that's awesome. That's really cool. So Mark, this is going off to you. And one more, and this one is going to Ellen, and Ellen's been a great supporter of the show for a long time, and Ellen says, hey, Kevin, Ellen here. I told you I was going to order one for my boss. He'll love this, so that's awesome. And uh, make sure you tell your boss to watch this show, and he can see where his twisted radio waves, Dr. Demento, Grateful Dead, came from. All right, so those of you who are afraid of shipping out big items, this isn't huge, I've shipped out much, much bigger than this before, but it's a pretty big item. 210 Soundtone Casio MT540. And I paid up for this one at a yard sale. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think I paid 20 for it. I may have paid 25. I can't remember. I have to go back and look at that yard sale. And I paid up for this one, but I knew I could sell it at Christmas time. I've sold these at Christmas time before. This one with the bank, the 210 tone sound bank is a really good one and this has some really nice effects it says midi on it so this is the kind that you want to look for just start looking up the model numbers and you'll find the ones some are worthless some are not worth the trouble of packing this one was 80 dollars plus shipping my guess is i paid 20 or 25 bucks but my guess is 20 dollars. so if i paid 20 dollars on this you're making close to a 50 dollar profit which is really, really good. All right, here is a Fontanini, which we're selling for Dirt Road Treasures and splitting it. This is $9.95 plus shipping. And it is going to be a nice little sale. It's really light, probably just over four ounces is my guess. So it'll go out as an eight ouncer and that's perfectly fine. So we'll split this money. Easy listers. I had my boy take pictures of all of these. He made a little bit of money and saved me a little bit of time when I'm doing so much shipping and, and all the stuff we're doing here that it's nice to have him take pictures. And then I just sit and list them when I have a minute. All right, here's an item from the Coin Boy. And I picked this up at school and I'm gonna put that on this video. I might already put it at the beginning. I might put it at the end. And I think we paid 10 bucks for this, Bryce. And I'm not quite sure, but it sold, I told you it'd go between 30 and 50 bucks. And then a lot of people started putting them on auction. And I'm like, hey, these people are putting them on auction and they're going up. Somebody wants it right now. And so I posted it for $58.95 and I undercut most of the market at buy it now price. I didn't undercut the whole market at buy it now price because I do one day shipping. And so, and I also have top rated. So if I'm top rated and I do one day shipping, Mine should be more appealing, even if it's four more bucks. So $54.95, I think $54.95 was the top or the lowest price of the Buy It Now. So I went $58.95 and sold it just like that. It sold really quickly. So it's a nice profit for me at 10 bucks. And Bryce, you're just making a little extra money for Christmas, but this sold for more than I thought. So I'm buying you lunch. I appreciate it. Hey, one more thing. I mentioned this. I found this in there, Bryce. Got this little message on it. It says, Bryce from Mom, Mom, and Pop, Pop 2000. So I wasn't going to sell that. I thought, oh, I could put that in the booth. I thought, no, I can't do that to old coin boy. And so I'm going to put that back, and I'm going to bring it back to you, and you can put it back on your tree. Maybe you can give it to your little girl someday. All right, this was another item from Bryce from a long, long time ago. So it's kind of funny it sold on the same day. Coin boy, you're making some sales for me. And this is official ball 1982 world series. So this is, I'm assuming, since you're from Philly or that area. I don't know if you're from Philly. Are you from Philly? I think that's where you're from. I'm assuming that this was something that you had for a long time or picked up somewhere along the road. And it sold for $15.95 and it's not even in the best of shape. You can see the lettering's gone. Uh, look for baseballs. They're great bolos. Even if they're not great baseballs, if you buy a bunch of them in bulk, you can sell them on eBay. Uh, if you pay, don't pay more than 50 cents for them, unless it's, you know, something special like this. This is, you know, a World Series ball. Major League Baseballs, even used. Minor League Baseballs, regular baseballs, as long as they're not waterlogged, you can sell in lots. You'd be surprised how much money you can get for them. I'm a baseball coach. So a lot of times out there, I'll just buy up all the baseballs I can get. Even if it's one baseball sitting on a table for a quarter, I'll buy it. And I just keep putting them in a bucket. And I will give them to the team that I coach just as like a donation. Because baseballs are really, really expensive. I mean, you can pay up to 80 bucks for a dozen brand new baseballs. And that's just crazy money. So you can sell them used. You can sell them to play it against sports. You don't make a ton of money. But you can sell them used 
on eBay and make a good little profit, especially in the early spring. That's a good time to sell them. Out west, you can sell them year-round because they're playing baseball now in Arizona. Who wants to play baseball when it's 120 when you can play it in the wintertime in some decent weather? I don't know if I told you how much. Fifteen ninety-five free shipping, and it ships out for eight ounces. I think maybe a, I think that's right. I don't think it's four ounces. Hold on, let me check. Yep, five point five ounces. So it'll ship out for eight ounces. I'm going to do a shipping video. I've had so many people ask me, but I'm just like, you know, so many resellers out there. They know what they're doing. You don't want to see that. So that's kind of why I started that other channel, is so I could fulfill some requests by some viewers that some other folks might not want to see. So go to Commonwealth Flipper at some point in the and I'm gonna put up a video about whether or not to do free shipping or to do calculated shipping or to do a flat cost shipping. I'm gonna tell you what I do, and it's kind of controversial. You'd be surprised and be like, no, you better do shipping or, <laughs> or don't do shipping, and there's different beliefs. I don't really care. I think it's kind of an irrelevant argument in one way and relevant in another. So I think you could do it either way, depending on what you wanna do, and it can work either way. So I'm going to talk about how I do it and you can tell me and give me some feedback on how you do it. I know there's a lot of resellers out there on YouTube that do it this way and they say they swear by it. And then there's some that do it this way and they swear by it. I don't swear by anything. I'll change if somebody can prove it to me. And I'll just show you what I do so you can come and take a look and see how I do what I do when I do my shipping. Blue Ridge Mama is still killing it with this sweater machine. So these are the rods from the sweater machine and they only sold for $9 plus shipping, but it's all pure profit at this point. So another sale on top of it, this should bring us to about $80 in profit, maybe a little bit more. If you find those sweater machines, buy them and part them out. When in doubt, part them out. Here's a Fontanini wishing well, and this one sold for $12 plus shipping. And this is also a dirt road treasure buy. I have one Fontanini item up here that's mine, but the rest are all dirt road treasures that we're doing on consignment. Don't like to do consignment, but I will do it from time to time, especially for these folks. They've treated me right. All right, I've sold these walls pretty quickly. There's There was none out there like this, so I thought maybe I'd bump up the price a little bit, and I probably should have bumped it up a little bit more because these sold really fast. $22.71 plus shipping is what they sold for. I probably could have got $25 because these sold within a few hours. So I think they're going, yep, yeah, both of these are going to different folks. So I was hoping maybe they're going to the same one and save a little time and effort, but Fontanini sells at Christmas. If you ever run into it at a decent price, go ahead and grab it. All right, hang around for something cool at the end. I'm not sure. Sometimes we pick later as to what we put on, but probably some shipping. Maybe some shipping that me and my wife did the other day, or maybe some of this shipping for these items, or who knows. Thank you again to everybody out there who comment all the time, who are always hitting that thumbs up button. We really appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. So let me read this message here from Ron. It says, let me see if I can read it. It didn't have any addresses on here. I don't think anyways. It has a phone number at the bottom. I'm going to keep that out of there. It says, hey, Kevin. So obviously this gift for your new shed, we were mailing this before you stated a name for it on the video. Kim and I wanted to give, give you this as a way of saying thank you, not for your accomplishment of being a successful YouTuber or eBayer, but for being a wonderful and hard work. <laughs> Hardworking father and spouse to your family. Watching your show has let us see a little into your life and we get uh, to know your life and family. Y'all, I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm an emotional guy, aren't I, Reagan? So I can't read this kind of stuff without getting teary-eyed. So I'm just going to finish it off here real quick. We also see that you have a loving, hardworking wife, Blue Ridge Mama. And all your children, homeschool hustlers, are amazing. Uh, we hope you enjoy the Virginia sign for your shed. P.S. Just in case you already have one, then sell it and buy something you really need. Your YouTube friends, Roy and Kim Thompson, RK Treasure Center. So you guys are so, so sweet. Isn't that cool?